శ్రీ విజయ్ సార్ రెడ్డి థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ సార్ సార్ ది ఫార్మర్ ప్రైమ్ మినిస్టర్ లేట్ శ్రీ రాజీవ్ గాంధీ హెస్ సెట్ దట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఎవ్రీ రూపీ దట్ ఈస్ స్పెండ్ బై ది గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఓన్లీ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పైసా రీచెస్ ద సిటిజన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ వై what are the reasons for this he has further explained that the reasons for uh, 85% erosion is on account of corruption point number 1 point number 2 on account of intermediaries who will eat away and thirdly the ineligible persons who are not otherwise eligible will get the benefits it is on account of these three reasons the honorable late prime minister has said that it is only 15 paisa that reaches the citizen probably taking a cue from that the successive upa governments have introduced this bill and it is good that uh, nda government is taking it forward and it has to be supported sir uh, i'll uh, refer to few points i'll 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 refer to both positive aspects negative aspects and i'll also make some suggestions to the honorable law minister uh, the points which have been covered by uh, revered members probably i'll not uh, i'll not repeat it uh, the planning commission a study by the planning commission on public distribution system found that 36% it's not my own figure sir it's all uh, the figures that have that are available on the websites various websites of planning commission and then economic survey data that is available plan according to the planning commission the public distribution system found that on the public uh, commission on the public di- di- distribution system found that 36% of the grains get leaked due to existence of ghost cards that is bogus cards and aadhar can help it according to the planning commission aadhar can help reducing such leakages sir secondly according to the economic survey data aadhar has reduced lpg leakages by 24% leading to annual saving saving of 12700 crores but my senior colleague jairam jairam ji has said that uh, minister is stated to have uh, in his reply to one of the replies to the question starred or unstarred question has stated that it the total saving is about 45000 crores or something which uh, uh, which economic survey data doesn't speak about it is it only says that 12700 crores is the saving sir uh, the linkage so the second aspect which i would like to bring it to the notice of the august house is the linkage of uh, uh, aadhar card with that of the pan card yes it is very much required why i'll tell you there are so many persons here in india who hold more than one more than one pan card and open different bank accounts and these bank accounts because as you are aware reserve bank has reserve bank of india has imposed some imposed some restrictions stating that one can deposit a maximum amount of so much and one can withdraw of, withdraw in a particular day so much of amount and there is some restrictions and these are not restrictions but uh, whenever such transactions occur they are to be reported to the reserve bank of india so that the income tax department or concerned departments will take the appropriate action so to mitigate this problem to avoid such as eventuality there are citizens who who hold more than one pan card and trying to generate black money out of it therefore the linking of aadhar with that of the pan card is very much is very much reasonable and justified sir and third point which i would like to, in fact the ministry of finance uh, in 2016 has cancelled about 11 lakhs 56000 duplicate pan cards till april 2016 this is the information what is available in the finance ministry website sir the third point which i would like to bring to your notice is linking of aadhar with voter id yes it is my practical experience i know very well from every village in andhra pradesh from every village of andhra pradesh people have migrated to hyderabad and settled in hyderabad and these migrants hold the voter id in their village as well as in hyderabad thereby having two voter id cards and 
whichever way they convenient to them, probably they are voting. Depends upon their uh, preferences. By linking Aadhaar card with that of the voter ID, it is very much possible to remove such duplicate and ghost ID cards, duplicate ID cards. Therefore, it is, uh, according to the Chief Election Commissioner, 85 million names of electoral rolls were fake or duplicate in 2015. This amounts to 10 to 12 percent of the total number of voters. Therefore, it is very much required. What I am trying to say is, where it is very much required to link the Aadhaar card with that of the voter ID. Sir, however, we have some concerns. I draw the attention of the Honorable Law Minister, who I think will address these issues. And in fact, uh, mm, some of the issues have already been pointed out by Derek Ji. Sir, this uh, particularly Aadhaar based biometric authentication in PDS outlets suffer from infrastructural bottlenecks. Lack of internet connectivity, lack of point of sale machines, low seeding of Aadhaar cards with ration cards, these are all the infrastructural bottlenecks which many of the states are fair. Let us, let, us, let us introspect and ask one question. Sir, Law Minister, sir, I am asking you. Economic Survey 2016. Be quick and uh, please I, I'll control. finish it. I will finish up, sir. Economic Survey 2016, an index to measure states' preparedness, states' preparedness to implement biometrically authenticated, biometrically authenticated physical uptake of PDS. Sir, the average state preparedness is only 12 percent. Sir, three, two more minutes, sir. 12 percent. It is 0 percent in many states, such as Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Varissa, Maharashtra, and Tamil Nadu. Sir, whether states are prepared for and prepared for, and the infrastructure is readily available to meet the contingency okay. or not, that is another question, sir. 50 percent of the beneficiary, in Andhra Pradesh particularly, 50 percent, as pointed out by Derek Ji, 50 percent of the beneficiaries could not buy the ration in 2015 due to reasons associated with Aadha. Uh, no, sir, one, no one, time let. <laughs> sir, one more, please, sir. No, no, please. One more minute, sir. No, no, you can't. Seven minutes, my God. Look, minus 11 minutes you have taken. Extra. Sir, Lam, sir, I, another question to Law Minister Singh. Sir, the, there's one issue, 47 subsection 1 of Aadhaar Act, Courts cannot take cognizance of any offence punishable under the Act unless compliant, unless compliant is made by the UID of India or a person authorised bit. What is the sanctity? What is the reason? Why, why an affected person cannot approach the court? Why is the bar on this? That is another point, sir. And finally, the last suggestion, what, what, I would like to make one suggestion, sir. Sir, uh, Justice A.P. Shah panel has recommended an overarching law to protect the privacy and personal data of the private and public suffice. The report also suggests setting up of privacy commissioners both at the center and the state levels. So I request the Honorable Law Minister to kindly consider that and, uh, and also address the infrastructural banking facilities is another bottleneck. Sir, I would like to bring to your notice that 27 percent of the villages have only banking facility within the range of five kilometers in India. Uh, sir, uh, you. Mm, uh, only 27 percent. What will happen to the remaining? So those, those, those villages which do not have the banking facility. So therefore, it is necessary for you to create the banking infrastructure before you proceed. Sir, the final, final suggestion, optic fiber cable network has been laid only in, in respect of 64,955 gram panchayat. As against, we have 2.5 2 .5 lakh villages in Gram panchayats in okay. India. Therefore, I, I urge all right. the law la okay, to take fine. care of this issue. Okay. I am thankful to you, sir. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much, sir. Thank you. You made a you made a very good speech, but uh, if I had time, I would have allowed you more. Yeah, no. Yeah. I was compelled to stop you because of paucity of time. Now, 